Hello again, it's Priscilla Batzell in Spring Hill, Florida at Expressionist Art Studio Gallery with <laughs> Anita's White Metallic in three different pans because I want three different colored areas. And that is a color shifting turquoise from Folk Art. This is the cobalt blue that's a metallic from Artist Loft. This is a Prism Pour Hot Orchid. which has a blockage, darn. Not anymore, well, maybe, <laughs> we'll see. Leave that there. This is a color shifting purple flash from Folk Art, which has a really nice consistency compared to the others. This is an amethyst from Artist Loft. I may be inclined to add colors. Oh, I'm going to put the green gold in with the turquoise, and it's another folk art color shift. I'm going to cover most of my white. I'm kind of making a rainbow. This is a red from folk art that's color shifting. And I'm planning on using a pre primed black canvas that's a 16 by 20 by 2, so it's gallery wrapped. And if I need more colors, I know where to find them. This is an artist, this is a, a fiery red from Arteza, which is really similar, obviously, to that red from Folk Art that's color shifting. And I'm going to use a little bit of the Golden Hour, which is pearlescent, and that's an Arteza also but I'm contemplating bringing a little bit of orange in, which is just a Hobby Lobby brand with some golden iridescent pearl fine in it. But that's what I wanted in there. So now we have it. So I've got three shovels and a, and a dish full of little scoops made from refuse that I might use. I don't know when, <laughs> maybe not at all. So I put my paint in my way and if I get to the point <laughs> where I can't get this done, I'm going to do part two. Oh, you know what? I have gold. Decorate Americana 24 karat gold. And I want some of it right in everything. I might also go to the point where I'm going to put some, some black, mead and black in. Because I can. Because I like it. Because I can is the name of my first book next to my second book. It's on the Amazon link. The Amazon link is on the link tree. The link tree is under the video. So these are going down. Wait a minute. All right, I used sidewalk chalk. Kids sidewalk chalk. Don't drop the paint pan. <laughs> wow, that could have been really, really messed up. I tried to make my shovel marks the right width. But you know what? I have a better shovel and it's and it's made of more refuse. So hopefully that works. I think I want to trim that edge down. Okay, I'm going to try it without. I scraped the bottom of it off. All this came about because somebody said I always do this by the seat of my pants. And I wanted at least once to try and do it in a preconceived manner and see if I could get the paint to go all the way, which is definitely an interesting proposal, especially with what I've left. <laughs> now I need a different shovel for every color. I'm going to use this chopstick to nudge my paint to the edge of the canvas. And I'd like to let it fall over. But so far so good. I'm going to grab a shovel for the next one. Turn my paint pan around. Uh, that's not an invitation <laughs> to turn my turntable. But I guess I've got it whether I want it or not. 
So I'm going to try and put less paint to begin with. Less paint at the beginning, shall we say. I'm going to drop it right over the edge. Line up the edge of my shovel. I'm shaking. Come on. Come on down. As long as there's paint in that shovel, usually I can let it go down over the side. But at this point, I think I'm going to grab a Princeton Art Tool Catalyst Spatula and just scrape out the shovel and add it right in because I don't think it's going to hurt the design at all and I get to use my paint up which I like and I'm not really worried about those weird shapes the chalk will obviously just disappear tomorrow I'm going to grab a little bit of gold right here because even though you hear me tell you one thing, I'm going to do the other thing. <laughs> Alright, so I've got one left to go and definitely thinking about filling in. Now, did I like the shovel better than the scoop? I like it enough so that I definitely want one that I can fill up with paint. And I don't need a long one, so this one's perfect. I do want a heavier amount of paint at the beginning of this one. Just so it will be able to be led over the side. That worked perfectly. I grab a little bit more of the paint that was at the beginning, I can probably also come right back here and lead some over the first side, which might be the only issue with the gallery wrap canvas because I'm not used to them. I'm beginning to take care of uh, inventory because I've done so many paintings. It might be time to quit. <laughs> I hope not, but I can only afford the storage unit for so so long before I have to get my hair done or hire a cleaning lady for my house. It's a choice. All right, so I get to decide what I want to do at this point. And what I kind of feel like I want to do is take the color that I just used in that shovel and take a big risk. do a little fill in because not much of that color came out. The edges are being kind of problematic. But the Princeton Art Tool Catalyst Spatulas will be a great assistance. They're on my Amazon link. My Amazon link is on the link tree. It's the first. No, it's not. It used to be the first. <laughs> it's not the first link anymore. So I'm going to take some of that paint right off my tile and put it on the edge right now because I can. And then I'm going to look at my green and wish it were blue. <laughs> but that doesn't mean that I can't go ahead and put some blue in there if I want to. And I think I'm going to because it's all about the rainbow at this point. And not just blue, that was the Venetian blue from Modern Masters, and this is some electric blue from Arteza. And I'm going to use the same shovel. And it's very green. I'd really like to make it to the end. And if I go slow enough, <laughs> I'm hoping that I will. Really, really important to slow right down. 
in order to complete the stripe. And if you attach the shovel to the edge of that, you can often use the bead of paint that's attached. I'm just going to drop a bunch of paint right over the edge right now and hope I can fake it out. I've got paint dripping out of my shovel, which is perfect. It will fall down in a little paint curtain, I hope. <laughs> I might, because the paint, because the dry background is dry, I can wipe off some of my not mistakes, but whatever you want to call them. I'm thinking I want to put this color over here. I'm going to use a little tiny scoop to do it. I'm going to try and pick up a variety from my pan as I go along. I might be getting to the point where it's... I kind of want to put that down there first, you know? Alright, I got a little gap, but that shouldn't be impossible to fix. And I definitely still have enough paint pooling at the edge of the canvas to get it go down, to go down over the side. I think I'm just gonna let, I think I'm just gonna grab <laughs> some of that paint right out of there. Makes me want to do that over here. I have to move my move my tools along. How much time do I have? I have four minutes. So I'm thinking a little more Prism Pour Hot Orchid, a little more Anita's White Metallic, maybe a little orange, change things up a little bit because I can sort of thing. <laughs> a little more Amethyst from Artist Loft. I spilled paint and I'm stepping in it because I'm barefoot. Ooh, that's nice. I'm lying. <laughs> and I'm going to grab this particular paint pan I used. I evidently let paint dry in the bottom, so it's really kind of not as easy as it could be to scoop up. Grab the rest of that. Colors are a little more mixed because I let it get to the bottom of the pan, but I don't think they had to be. Just using the edge of the scoop. And I want more green. And I don't actually have a lot left, but I'm going to use another scoop. I guess that's where it's going. This is a different one. That's not really part of my plan, but I'm going to keep working with it anyway. Trying to get dripping paint to stay in an angle is probably beyond my abilities on the, on the uh, vertical side of the canvas. But I know what the colors are and I can use them tomorrow. I can also use those drips right now. When am I going to learn to keep a damp paper towel handy? I don't know, but my water is clean. Not that my finger is. <laughs> oh 
where's my favorite towels? Oh gosh. Excuse me while I go run and rescue my... Rescue my rescue. All right, so what do I have? I have a little bit of paint left. And I'm trying the, to do the impossible, which is probably unwise at the very least. All right. So that's a little gummy. If I had a Q-tip, let's improvise. I think I'll be filling that in tomorrow with black. I didn't really intend on having those run into each other. But I suspect as long as the paint is thin, it'll be all right. So what I really had in mind was to dot a few things. And so I guess I'm just going to do that. And I may not finish, but I've got this chopstick. I've got a knitting needle. Stop turning. I have a break, too. I just don't know what I did with it. I keep putting it someplace. That I can't see it. There it is. So I have two minutes <laughs> to do what I can. And I'm going to try and use my knitting needle. To make some nice big dots. that are a little more random than I had them. And tell you guys that I have over 93,000 subscribers on my YouTube channel. And if you're new, please be welcomed. And if you're not new, thank you for being here. I could probably put dots on the side of the canvas tomorrow if that's something I choose to do. This was part of this process. That's what I had in mind. The name of the artist that I was inspired by is somebody I follow on my Instagram. I don't believe she's an American, but her name is San Starling, and she's worth checking out. She does really nice pieces, large pieces with shapes. Sometimes she does two paintings and they, and they can fit together in two different ways, which is pretty cool. If I want to keep filling in, it's going to be with a smaller tool. So you guys need to know that I have a monthly drawing and there are paintings up for grabs in that drawing and you can see what they are on the, in, the, in the beginning of the exhibition video on the end screen video that's at the, that's at the end of every video. New exhibition every month. I've got one minute left to tell you guys that you can find the PayPal and Patreon icons on my YouTube channel banner, and if you use them, you'll be automatically entered. I am going to need to fill this in by putting more paint <laughs> into my shovel or my pan. But you can see where it's going. There may be gold dots as well. You'll see, uh, you'll see the thumbnail. I really just want to have this more finished for you now, but I think it's going to be whatever it is. And I will be putting some smaller dots in as soon as I can find the tool that I was planning on using, which is probably a chopstick. I love you guys. Take care of each other. Take care of yourselves. Bye for now. Don't forget I have 2,000 videos, and if you need a question answered, you can ask me. My paint pouring recipe is below the video. My Facebook groups, everything is on the link tree. And I will be adding dots a lot more places. I love you guys. Take care of each other. Take care of yourselves. This is Priscilla Batzell in Springhill, Florida. Don't forget the thumbs up. Watch longer. Share. Um, <laughs> thank you for everything. I love you guys. Bye for now. Priscilla out. <laughs>